Hi, I'm Dredd, and I'm making this video to show how to do the transitionings that I use in my stream. What you'll need is OBS, Auto Hotkey, a transition video, and the video source plugin for OBS. I want to give a shout out to Nikon Punch for making his transition video. Without him, I would have never figured this out in the first place. His video is a prerequisite for this video. Follow his instructions and get everything set up before you attempt following this video. First thing you'll notice is in the scenes, the names have control 1, 2, 3, and 4 next to them. These actually show what hotkey to use to switch to those scenes. If you do not already use hotkeys to switch to scenes, I would definitely recommend it. It is required for this script to work. Now at this point, I'm going to show you the fully working product so that you can witness what this actually does. I'm going to click on preview stream and then you'll notice a little bit of the video file play in the background. To kick that video file off again, what I'm going to do is open the transition source. This is the video source plugin that I was previously mentioning. As you can see, the width and height, the audio settings, and then right here is the video file that actually gets played. I want to make note that the video file should not be more than 7 to 10 seconds, otherwise it could be problematic. Now if I hit OK, it's going to play the video file again and show you what, what actually is going to happen. As you can see the red and black, and then you see the directly despised in the bottom corner. Alright, and now I'm going to show you the automated method that I use with AutoHockey and the script that I helped work on. So if I hit Control 1, it'll keep me on my intro stream, or scene actually. If I hit Control 2, it'll bring me down to the game scene, but it'll also do something else. You notice that window quickly pop up? I'll do it one more time. Control 1, Control 2. So what actually happens is Auto Hockey double clicks on transition, waits for this window to come up, and then clicks on OK. There's a black screen, which I know right now because I'm not actually playing a game, but you'd actually see the game behind everything. And that's just, sh just to show that off. Now what I'm going to show you next is the portions of the script that is actually used. At first, this may look like a lot of gibberish. If you're not familiar with scripting language or even auto hotkey in general, don't worry, it's not a big deal. I'm going to modify this script so that it will just have the important things you need to get this transition done and make it a lot easier for you to modify it. And I'll show a little bit of that within this video. There's a lot of extra stuff in here that I use for my stream for setup and everything else. So going down to this portion, this is what we care about. The control num2. This little uh, carrot right here means control. And what this does is it's saying if OBS exists, then Control click 2 at this location on that window, wait for the window to pop up, and then do a single click on the OK button, and then send Control numpad 2 down, and then Control numpad 2 up, which then changes the scene. So it does that all at once, and that's how it, how it looks like it's all automatic. The nice thing about Control click is it will not interrupt your game, it will not affect your um, active window in any way shape or form so it can be run while you're in game or anything like that just by a simple hotkey so the only thing you need to worry about e editing or modifying is this line right here and it's only these numbers and how we do that is with auto hotkey comes a tool called auto it window spy this window spy tool allows you to see where your mouse is on what windows so if I go over to the OBS window, you can see the top where it says title and class, it says AHK underscore class OBS window class. Below that is the mouse position. The mouse position we want to look at is the inactive window. So we're looking at 867 comma 903. It's not exactly the same number as this right here, but it pretty much means, means the same because it's still within the area that you're looking at. You could even use this to click within a box or wherever other areas that you may want to look at. But I'm going to leave this as it is right now and then show you what, I, what it means. 
So again, I click on preview stream, starts up the stream, you see the little bit of intro video, and now your stream is running, and now you're to the point that you're going to transition to the game that you're going to play. So now you hit control 2, and boom, it does a transition, and now you're playing your game. I uh, want to give a shout out and credit to the Auto Hockey forum moderators that helped work on getting Control Click 2 created. If it wasn't for that, I would not have been able to get this to work as it is. Um, and again, I want to give a credit to Nikon Punch for his original transition video. And I will be posting the script up on a website or something like that to share out so that everyone can use it and play with it and whatnot. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to comment below the video. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in.